Hello, good morning. Welcome to Storytime. It's Miss Ashley with another stay at home story time from the Myriad Public Library. I am so glad you get to join us today for a what's going to be a fun story time full of chickens. Miss Ashley just got four chickens over the holiday break um, in December, and she is absolutely in love with them. They are named Minerva Louise from a picture book series. Um, straight feather, uh, uh, big Bertha. She's like the mama hen of the group and scary Mary, which is also a book we're going to read today in story time. So it's gonna be another exciting day, but first we have to get us ready to begin. And we're going to do so by singing the hello song. So give this video a thumbs up if you are ready to begin. And all you need to do is just wave and follow along. You ready? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you this morning? How are you this morning? Go ahead and write in the comments below. I'm a little tired, but I am happy to be here. I am excited to share books and songs with you. So let's begin. So like we do each week, we are taking a quick breathing moment out of Carol Wiley's Breathe Like a Bear book. These are found at the Murrieta Public Library. And today we are going to be doing, today I'm going to be, and look at all that, happy, friendly, kind, helpful, nice, patient, generous, and cheerful. Let's begin. Take a long breath in. Come on all the way out and hold your body still. Think about how you want to be for the rest of your day. Pick a good word to finish the sentence in your mind. Ready? Today, I'm going to be, maybe you finish it with friendly or kind or helpful. Choose a good word that you feel like to finish the sentence. When you pick your word, if you want to tell a grown up about it, remember your word and do your best to make it happen. Take another deep breath in. Out your mouth. What word, if you want, if you'd like to tell me, what word are you going to choose to be today? Go ahead and type it in the comments and go ahead and tell Miss Ashley. Those are super good words. I think today I want to be helpful and enjoy the rest of story time with you. Does that sound good? Okay, so next up we are doing Little Mouse. Little Mouse is about this big and loves to play hide and seek with all of their friends. But that means we have to guess which house they belong in. So we have blue, orange, green, pink, red, purple, brown, and yellow. So I'm gonna give you a second to write down what color you think Little Mouse is in in the comments. You can do, just type in the color. You can put in that color heart or something that has the color in it. And then I'm going to pull from the um, cup that has different color popsicle sticks on it, okay? So give this video a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the? Blue house, this is the blue one, not behind the blue house. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the yellow house? Down here, not behind the yellow house. Okay, little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the red house? That's right here. There's Little Mouse. Little Mouse is behind the red house. So if you got that color correctly, go ahead and give me hearts in the comments below saying, I did it, I chose red. Before we read Scary Mary by Paula Bowles, we have to say our Open Jetham song because we have to get ready for our listening ears. Can we see your hands? Open, shut them. Open, shut them them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put 
them in your lap, lap, lap. We are ready for Scary Mary. Scary Mary was written in 2012 um, by Tiger Tales, an imprint of ME Media, also written by, like I said before, Paula Bowles. Super adorable illustrations. All right. This is Scary Mary. In the barnyard, she ruled the roost. If the other animals came near, come and play. She chased them all away. What sound do chickens make? She made signs, keep out, go away. She put up gates and she practiced making scary faces. Can I see your scariest face? Okay, I can go. Is that scary or is that silly? I think mine was silly. She kept all the sunflower seeds to herself and built a fort to keep others out. But can we join in? They'd ask excitedly. No, shouted, sh shouted Mary sending sunflowers flying and the other animals scurrying. She squawked, she clucked, she crowed and flapped her wings in a terrific tantrum until she was completely alone. Finally, she had the barnyard and everything in it all to herself. She cooked by herself, she played by herself, and ate dinner by herself. Without the others, she soon realized that being scary was lonely. So, when the other animals were playing, Mary asked, can I play too? And they said, what do you think they're gonna say? Yes, because it was much more fun to do things together. The end. This next one is One Little Chicken, a counting book written by David Elliott and illustrated by Ethan Long. Look at that cute little chicken dancing in the spotlight. So it's a counting book, hmm. I wonder how many numbers we have to go up to. Do you think it's five, mm, three? Write down in the comments below what number you think we're gonna count up to. If you guessed 10, you would be correct. So can you help me count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are all so good at counting. Makes us think we're ready for this book. So since we've already done our open shut, then we're gonna get right to it. So, one little chicken, a counting book, um, was uh, published by the Holiday House in New York in two thousand and seven. So if you love chickens and you love to dance, I think that this book will be perfect. Okay, one chicken twirls like a top and two chickens do the bunny hop. <gasps> Raise your hand if you like doing the bunny hop. I love doing the bunny hop. Three chickens practice their ballet. Four chickens swing the night away. Five chickens put on five grass skirts and they hula and they hula and they hula oh, till it hurts. But you kids don't understand what that feels like, but maybe some of your parents do. Six chickens try something more refined, but seven chickens get up and bump and grind. Eight chickens swirl and sway in satin. Nine chickens cha-cha to a beat that's hot and Latin. And 10 chickens shimmy, 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 shake. 
Okay, so you all shimmy, 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 shake. Look at you go, 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 go. Oh, but one little chicken will not boogaloo. Who is that little chicken? Oh my gosh, it's you. You gotta do better than that shimmy, 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 shake. Can I do that to me, shimmies? Okay, so get up, shake a leg. Stretch your stuff and cut a rod. Count to 10 and back as you jive and jitter by. Let me see you guys get up and dance, dance, dance. Make your own music with a wax paper and a comb. I can never remember how to do that. Maybe one of your adults will know how. Super fun. And dance, dance, dance till the cows come home. So since we still have our dancing feet on, let's go ahead and do something kind of fun with our hands. And we're gonna do roly poly. All right, so Roly Poly just rolls their arms like this. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, up, up. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, down, down, down. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, out, out, out. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, in, in, in. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, back, back, back. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, hands back in your lap. All right, we're gonna sing another song that kind of reminiscent five little ducks, you know, five little ducks went out to play, but instead of quack, quack, we're gonna go chirp, chirp with five little chicks. So can we hear you make the sound of little baby chickens, little chicks, chirp, chirp, chirp. And how about big mother hen? Quack, quack, quack. Oh, you guys are so good. Okay, can we count to five? One, two, three, four, five, now. Can we count backwards from five? See us do it, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I think we are ready for the chickies to go on a fun little adventure. Ready? Five little chicks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother hen said, bark, 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 but only four little chicks came back. <laughs> Four little chicks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother hen went bark, 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 and only three little chicks came back. Hmm. Three little chicks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother hen said bark, 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 and only two little chicks came back. Two little chicks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother hen went bark, 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 and only one little chick came back. One little chick went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother hen said bark, 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 but no little chicks came running back. Now is mother hen sad or is she happy? Can I see a happy face in the comments if she's happy or sad if she's sad i think she's sad so what's a mama chick gonna do mama chick's gonna go out there and find her chicks herself sad mother hen went out one day over the hills and far away sad mother hen went bark, bark, bark. And all her five little chicks came back. Oh, I dropped one. There it is. <laughs> so our next story is The Red Hen. This version was written and illustrated by Rebecca Emberly and Ed Emberly. All right, before we start our last book of story time, we have to do our open shut them. You ready? Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now we're gonna read The Red Hen by Rebecca Emberly and Ed Emberly. I love their version of Chicken Little. Chicken Little was chucked out from the library, so if that was you, good choice. It's one of Miss Ashley's favorite, but The Red Hen definitely comes in at number two with these two illustrators and authors. So this was published in 2010 um, and it was published by a Neil Porter Books Rowing Press. 
and it's a workout. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay. One beautiful morning, the red hen found a wonderful recipe for a cake. This would be a treat for all of us, she thought. And the recipe was simply splendid cake. Oh, I love cake. Do you love cake? This cake should be baked. Who will help me gather the ingredients, she asked. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Ribbit, said the frog. Ribbit means not I in froggish. All right, then I shall do it myself. And she did. Sugar, milk, and flour. Now I have everything we need. Who will help me mix the cake, she asked. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Bribbit, said the frog. All right, then I shall do it myself. And she did. Now the cake is all mixed. Who will help me bake the cake, she asked. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Bribbit, said the frog. All right, I shall do it myself. And she did. The cake came out of the oven, golden and sweet. Who will help me ice the cake, she asked. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Bread it, said the frog. All right then, she said. I will do it myself, she sighed. And she did. Now the cake is iced. Who will help me decorate the cake, she said. She pretty much knew what was coming. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. Bribbit, said the frog. All right, I shall do it myself. And so she did. Look at that yummy cake. Look how good it looks. She did a very good job at decorating. This cake looks splendid, said the red hen. Who will eat, help me eat the cake? <gasps> I will, said the cat. I will, said the rat. Ribbit, ribbit, said the frog, which means I will in froggish. Hmm, said the red hen. I think I will eat it myself. And she did. The end. Look, here's Red Hen's Simply Splendid Cake. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here so you can pause it. So we are at TikTok time. We are going to do three TikToks. And you're going to have yourself like a little clock. TikTok, TikTok. And then we're going to go cuckoo or however many cuckoos. Okay? TikTok, TikTok. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Now it's drinking one o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Now it's striking two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Good job. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Now it's striking three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Good job, everyone. I am so proud of you. Maybe in a later story time, when my chickens just grow a little bit older, I can bring one onto story time so you can see them. Uh, write down in the comments if you want me to bring out um, Scary Mary, uh, Big Bertha, Straight Feather, or Minerva Louise. Maybe I'll bring Minerva Louise book in and I can do story time again about chickens. I'll bring the chickens in. All right, so that's it for us, but we still have our goodbye song to do. Can we all wave goodbye? All right. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another Wednesday. Have a great week, stay kind to one another and I will see you next Wednesday.